previously on the SNS show. So yeah, guys, today um, we are getting rid of, um, I don't even know, I never even named the car, but it's, I guess I'm gonna just say lifesaver. Ed! So guys, it's been a few days, but we made it to our new place. We already yes. done laundry. One more, we got laundry room. Yeah. What's up, SNS fam? We just came back from so many stores, and Babe had something so comical he wanted to tell y'all. So come on, before I show y'all a little bit of what I got from the stores we went out to. So, um, we had to go to PetSmart to get Blossom some um, cat litter and chicken for the morning. And we walked in the store and we walking down. First, we, we was right by the adoption place, like <laughs> we told y'all where we got Blossom from. They had it there. So we be seeing some cats and we was looking and then we was like, all right, babe, we gonna go to the back. So we, as we walk into the back, I turned, like we was, we was looking at cat um, like posts because we wanted to get her some posts. And then next thing you know, <laughs> I turned around and I just seen a tail go past, like up in the cat litter. And I was like, babe, I think they got the animals out. It was brown. So I'm like, he like, no, no, no. No, he what he did was talking about, he had the letter in his hand, he gonna say, <gasps> I'm like, what, what do you see? Cause I'm thinking like, it's a dog off the leash. Cause you know, people could walk their dogs around the pet store. He don't say nothing. Sean, when he sees something that scares him, he just freezes up. I'm not that type of person. I'm, when I, you, <gasps> that's all you gotta do. And I'm taking flight. So he did that, he's standing, he's talking about, no, babe, I seen. I think I seen a mouse. Okay, then why are you standing there? Like, let's go. I'm so, like, what the, give me the litter, I'm leaving. Cause he still had to get Blossom's chicken. I'm like, I'm not getting no chicken. I'm not going back there if that's where you've seen it, run at. So then, I was like, I'm about to go tell them that they, <laughs> one of they, one of they uh, pets got out because when we go visit sometimes, we do see like the guinea pigs and stuff. So I'm like, maybe it was a guinea pig. <laughs> so I walked over to the lady and I'm like, Ma'am, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I seen a rat run past. And the other lady was like, oh my God, you seen it too? A customer, it another big. customer. And she was like, oh my God. She was like, Sean was like, I mean, Sean was like, I think one of y'all things got out. She was like, that's not ours, it's from outside. Bitch, I'm like, you know what? Time for me to go. So we was talking to the, <laughs> the, the uh, cashier, and what did she say something about she the store next door? She said that basically um, the store next door, they're renovating, and basically being that they're renovating, you know, when they renovate, they like break everything down. So maybe they're migrating there. She was like, they haven't seen one in months, but she was from New York City and she was like, oh my God, like I've seen the most as I can see there. But it was really funny after It was fun, but in the moment I'm like, oh my God, I think they got the damn animals running around Pets Farm. I'm sorry, y'all. Well, that was my snippet. I'm about to finish, I'm about to make us some chicken breast. We're gonna have a chicken salad for dinner because we've been like, eating out since we've gotten here because we just been moving around. I've been not wanting to cook, but we just been in this space. We didn't want to. Blocking just staring at us right Cook. So I'm about to make us a I see you staring. healthy chicken salad uh, with some chicken, cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce, and we're gonna watch a movie like Beach said and enjoy our night. But I just wanted to tell you that before he show y'all. Oh, we was tell. we last for a. That was too funny. That shit. That shit had a long ass brown tail. Like you know how you like look and you like. I don't think I seen what I seen. No. It was what you said. That bitch was like a fat ass rat. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, if you know, you you know. No, everybody should know what a damn rat or a mouse look like, whether they seen it in person or not. Man. Them bitches ugly. I got some. We went to Target, right? And why is it that every time you go into Target, you come out with stuff that you never intended on getting when you went in there? So, what do we go into Target for? An ice scooper, right? Right, babe? Yes. Why come out with these? These mugs. But aren't they so cute? Hopefully it's focusing. They are so cute. And I told babe, I'm going to put my hot chocolate in here make because I got one for both of us. Make us some hot chocolate in the fall with some little suds. I'm gonna drink my tea in these, but I'm just about to be a mug collector. And I like these earth tone colors, cause I just feel like they just, I don't know. I like pretty things, so. 
hits. Look at my man. <laughs> yeah, we did a little shop until we went to Whole Foods and I got some, just some spring water. Um, some Yerba Mate. Sean has the, um, well, I got the Reveal Berry and Sean is gonna try the um, Tropical Uprising. We just got some hand soap for the house. We use uh, Myers. It's our favorite, literally. We use it for our dishes and for our hands um, in our bathroom and in our uh, at our sink in the kitchen. And then we just picked up some bars of soap that we like too from Whole Foods. If you guys never used it before, we highly recommend it. Have it in liquid and in um, bar soap. If it's backwards, it's raw shea butter bar soap. It's uh, age defying and protecting. It's by Nubian Heritage. So, had to pick up re up on some of those because we were running low. We got a bunch of other things that I don't really feel like reviewing, honestly. We got some chocolate cover pretzels from Trader Joe's. See, look, I'm going different store, different store, because I'm gonna just pull it out anyway, because baby's gonna put it up. We got some popcorn, which this is my like favorite, 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 favorite popcorn from Trader Joe's. I think it was another one, but babe had me in the store like, no, this is the one you had before, but it's another one I used to eat from Trader Joe's, but then they stopped having it. So I'm like, I'm stuck to this now. And this is just a um, popcorn with herbs and spices, a savory popcorn for your snack cravings. Really, really good. And it doesn't have that many, in, like the ingredients are just um, sunflower, say, safflower, sa uh, sunflower, safflower seasoning, Dry e sea salt, dry dill leaf, celery seeds, onion powder, sugar, citrus acid, and spices. So not that much. Now these right here, I don't know if we told. I, I believe we mentioned these before, right, babe? The chicken um tiki. Some, some, I, think so. I don't know how you pronounce it. Sam, sam sosa, samosa, samosa, something from Trader Joe's, baby. Go get these right now. Run to Trader Joe's and go get them. You will not be disappointed. And let us know what y'all think about them. There, this is the mini chicken tikka. Some I cannot pronounce it, but baby, when you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. This is what it looks like. So if you want to take a screenshot of this, be my guest. But run to the store over these. We re, we got the we got two of these, and um, like I said, we got some vegetable rice, some beef patties from there. I got some cherries from Whole Foods, and then we got some so delicious yogurt, which is. If you're not familiar, it's just like a dairy free. Um, focus, focus. Yeah, it's so delicious. Coconut alternative, um, coconut milk yogurt alternative. So we got them in a bunch of flavors because they were on sale. Some pasta. We got some. Oh, they wanted to try this from Trader Joe's too. He picked up was this. Oh, this isn't the one. Not the rosa. It was a Cajun. Where is it? Oh, Cajun style Alfredo sauce. So I guess they're gonna be making some Alfredo, huh? Yeah. Cajun Alfredo. So we're gonna see how that goes. And of course, we had to get some wine. And of course, it would be Black Girl Magic. This is our first time trying it, but I'm really surprised at the price of, I mean, the price point. It was 22 something, but I just feel like for this small bottle, we've had so many bottles that were way bigger than this for less than 22 something. And, I mean, we just wanted to support black owned, woman owned, so I ain't really complaining about the price. I just want to try it. And the hints of the flavors in it sounds super good. It says it's um, a full body, a uh, flavored with cherry, plum, cedar, and vanilla, so it sounds good. And it's a 13.5% alcohol um, volume, so we'll see how that goes. We got a whole little bar situation going on over here, so we're going to have a whole lot of red cup situations. And that's it. We'll update you guys after we get some food in our bellies because it's some more things, but I just want to unpack the stuff and put it up. But we'll be back shortly. And this might be a long vlog for you guys because we just been, y'all gonna see, y'all didn't see us on the road. Um, we update you guys as we made it here. We was doing laundry earlier, then we went out to the store. We've been in the stores literally all day today, but we're good now, cleaned. And now baby's about to make us something to eat, so. Yeah. Yeah. so we hope y'all love it. I know it's been a while since y'all have seen the vlog. Again, this vlog is not going to be the first vlog you've seen because we do have a beach vlog that 
Pogo was this. in the midst of us traveling, so it didn't get uploaded. But yeah. you guys, by the time you see this, it's already uploaded. So yeah, but we appreciate y'all for being patient with us. We again, again, we told you guys that it was going to be a moment or a while before mm -hmm. we uploaded because we had to move and we didn't want to just throw our content. Editing is not something that you can just do in two minutes. So we appreciate y'all for continuously watching us and being patient you guys may have seen stuff on instagram we'll do things here and there but we're just settling in at our new place and we promise you that content will start to get back into a routine but just bear with us we love you guys and we'll see y'all with the salad and then we're gonna close this thing out yeah. all right what he said period so guys here is the finished product we got a salad with a little cherry tomatoes, some cucumber, seasoned chicken breast, and romaine lettuce. Per, and this the dressing I'm using it for, using for mine. Babe loves Caesar cream. Oh, can you see it? It's yes. Focus. Mm -hmm. And cream then baby is gonna use. I love it. Olive Garden Italian dressing. Try mm. eat. Try both of them, y'all. And we're about to enjoy this. Lighting is horrible. Hold on, let me cut the light on. Oh, one second. One second. Oh, yeah, that's brighter. So, we're about to enjoy our salad, watch a movie, and go to bed. I'm tired. We've been running. But on that note, we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was very, very long, but you guys were literally with us throughout our moving journey like literally from the house to the car to here not so much unpacking but we've been bringing y'all along so we hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are new to our channel welcome to the sns show don't forget to like comment share and subscribe yes hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload our videos Good morning, SNS family. It is Labor Day. Right now, we are prepping because Babe is about to put some stuff on the grill and we might get in the pool um, mm -hmm. later on. But right now, we're just prepping some chicken and shrimp, uh, shrimp kebabs. Yep. We're going to have some chicken, some jerk. So it's jerk chicken kebabs, Cajun shrimp kebabs. Uh, we're doing homemade hamburgers, um, <clears throat> potato salad, um, beans, be quiet, <laughs> and what's she said you're lying, <laughs> and Italian sausages. Oh, yeah, Italian sausages. So that's our little Labor Day spread. Um, because we didn't get to do. 4th of July, we was like, we just gonna wait till we get into our new place mm -hmm. so we could, you know, have some. Cause when we lived before, it was just not, it was like, you gotta walk in the grass to get to the grill. Then you the gotta, grills was dirty yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you gotta charcoal. But here, it's like wood where the gr grill is at and it's electric, so that's You mean the, concrete? Yeah, what did I say? Wood. wood. Yeah. <laughs> so that is better than what we were before and it's actually a grill by the pool but it, i'm sure that it might be busy like occupied yeah because this is a it's about 10 o'clock now so i'm like i want to get on the grill now so that the food is at least done and if we want to go back by the grill all we got to do is warm it up but mm -hmm. the majority part is done because it is hot down here and it's hot in florida nobody wants to be standing on the damn grill in the heat and it get hot quick like you gotta get out there what time is it now yeah it's nine. already probably warming up yeah it's nine right now so by like 12 it's already hot as you know what but yeah that's what we're doing we're gonna have a cookout and you guys are gonna virtually eat some of this stuff too mm, we, got, about virtually. we got some jalapeno peppers on them some sweet peppers Mm -hmm. Some onions. It already smelled so it good. Marinated overnight, so all the juice has soaked into the chicken, the shrimp, and even the vegetables. Mm -hmm. And we also got some corn. 
that we're gonna be doing on the grill. So we got a nice little spread. For just the two of us. For just the two of us. We like to eat we them. Can go if we try. Just, just the, the two, two of us. us. Well, just the two of us. But we just wanted mm. to show you guys us prepping the kebabs. Yep. We'll keep y'all going as we go, but we about to finish these up. Mm-hmm. I got me a little lime Rita. I'm about to get me one. A little lime cooler. Oh, so wait, baby, taking a, this is, which one is a, oh, so how are you doing these, like this? Just yeah, just it. be careful and go all the way through, straight through oh, the Oh, I need to move my finger now. Uh -huh. Push, but like ease it in there, don't like push it. Mm. You know how to do that. <laughs> Hey. And then when they get in, it's easier to come out. Ooh, there you go. Ooh, it looks like it broke. It's all right. Just be careful with it. Punch right through that hole. Gotta be gentle with the hole. <laughs> wow, sure. That is TMI. <sighs> um. Oh, happy day. This is going to be good. When Jesus walked, I love shish kebabs. Oh, oh. <laughs> you like shish And kebabs? I thought we was doing um with the shrimp. Like you ever? I thought you know sometimes you do like all shrimp, but it's fine. Like, like no vegetables, just all oh, shrimp. Oh yeah, we like could have did that. You could do all kinds of shit. Whatever mm -hmm. the hell you wanna, whatever your mind called to. Cause some people you could do shrimp and beef, you could do all vegetables, like people that are like don't eat meat. Yeah. Um, you know what I was actually gonna try putting like a sausage on one all the way through and just be a sausage on the like a sausage kebab. Mm, that's different. So what happens when you like say if you run out of vegetables, would you just take the chicken yeah. and cook it by itself? Or just do use more meat. Yeah. Use like two vegetables because I didn't oh, okay. I thought I had meat enough. Which I probably did. It just seemed like a lot because there's not a lot of meat in here. Yeah. If you never cooked shish kebabs, I'm gonna give you all a tip. I'll write this down, okay? The tip is before you put the meat or anything on the skewer, you let it soak in cold water for about a couple minutes. The reason being is because if you don't like kind of moisturize the wood. When you put it on the grill, they burn. And that happens a lot of times because people just take them out of things, start putting meat on and put it on the grill. They're like, why are the schoolers burning? It's because you got to let them soak in water. Cold water. So that's the tip that I'm sharing with y'all on um, kebabs. Is this how you grab them from the yeah, middle? Yeah, grab it from the middle. The middle, okay. Yeah. Get like a good. Okay, la vuelta como tal. Hey guys, so we're back with the update. <laughs> As you can see, we were just in the pool, but this is the finished product. So I made some potato salad, baked beans, hamburgers. Oop. Phone got blurry. Hamburgers, hot dogs. Uh, shrimp kebabs and chicken kebabs. So we about to dig in. See you shortly. 
so good. Mm. Want some? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you get out of the pool, your appetite <laughs> be hungry. If you can relate, put it in the comment. Your body just you release all that you in the water. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's about to rain, so we did good timing. We thought we didn't have nothing for our hair. No, we would have been running back home. The pool wasn't crowded. That's right. People probably at the beach, Sean said. Mm-hmm. Everybody on the road right now. Mm-hmm. I know some people probably traveled like from other states to come way down here. Mm-hmm. It's Labor Day. You know, kids are go back right Maybe back to school, so people be taking them on trips. Mm -hmm. Disney is probably crowded. I was just about to say that. Mm. Have some potato salad. Oh, it's like some seasoning. I don't know if that's something to about. Let me hear about it. I'm going to check this stuff. Mm. 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 Good morning guys. Good morning, SMS family. Yesterday you guys seen we ate our food and after that we took us a long nap. Um, it was just a lot going on personally in our lives with family and things like that. So we decided to not pick the camera back up. So this is the start of a new day. Um, yes. Babies with full and colds right now and um organizing some things that we had uh, left in our living room as we were moving, so I'm just going through some stuff, getting it, putting it in the place that it's supposed to be in. Yeah, we got some things we gotta do when you move. You know, you gotta change your cars, you gotta just do our room things, not complaining, but it's all new to us, so we have to like, ask questions and um, research. So it's a little, I'm not gonna say downing, but you just gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. But, that's what we're doing now, finishing up some of this stuff. We gotta clean and get back into the groove. I think we've been on a little vacation over the last couple of days, but that's because we're adjusting. Yeah. But it's time to grind. Yeah, and put this. these videos out. Yep. <laughs> so whenever you guys see this, just send us some love because um, we really need it right now. And we appreciate you guys and welcome if you're new watching us. We hope you stay along this journey with us because this is just a new beginning for us. So we're excited to see how life unfolds for us. Yes, yes. Today we'll probably, I don't know, we might try to go out. We have to go to, like I was saying earlier, get our cars registered. So we might try to go today or tomorrow and then probably have the rest of our cookout food. Mm -hmm. Maybe play Uno later, but mainly just get our place ready because we ready to fill more comfortable yeah so we'll check back in with you guys a little bit later um but until then see you shortly be truthful to who you are life is so short so it drives me nuts for people say they don't have the time you have 24 hours a day